have been tracking this script for about eight months, nine months. The moment I read it, I was like, I'm getting this movie. <laughs> When I first read the script, my heart fluttered and I laughed and it is so smart. The reason I love filmmaking so much is because it truly is a collaborative art. Because the leads were women, it would have been irresponsible for the movie to not have as many women behind the scenes as we did. Nisha's just very good at telling very nuanced, smart, funny, sweet movies about women. Her expertise and her knowledge and her love for the craft is amazing. It's been an honor and a treat working with Nisha. It only makes sense that then the story is told through women. And every single woman here is badass and at the top of their game. You get paid? I thought you were an intern. It was my first movie, first feature script I wrote by myself. When I worked at an agency, I knew I wanted to write, but kind of was too afraid to. And so I saved up a bunch of money and then quit and took three months to write the first draft. She's a 27-year-old dynamo who wrote a great freaking script. It was her first script. It was my first big studio film. Nobody had a reason to say no, so it went pretty fast. Donna Langley gave us the green light. I just wanted to take a shot. Do you want to hear it? To me, if the music works, I know the script is great. When we were putting together the music for the movie, we saw this New York Times piece on Sarah Aaron. She just is so humble and quiet about her immense talent. She just turns out hit after hit after hit. She came and visited the set, and then her and Tracy sat together at the piano in Capitol Studios and played the song that Sarah wrote for the film. She just started singing, and then Sarah started singing. Everybody got really teary, and Tracy got teary. Sarah got teary. They hugged each other. and. It was just this really beautiful moment. I've never worked with a female producer. Yeah. Should we give it a go? My first impressions of Maggie, she's really intelligent and talented, super ambitious, and full of dreams and kindness. She has to take a risk to sort of step out from behind the stars she's hiding behind and follow her own dreams. Reading the script, I never felt like she was compromised or selling herself short. Even when Maggie wins, she loses again, because it's not a real win. And you don't get to just show up one day and win. It's always a hustle. I forgive myself. Was that an apology? Absolutely not. We cast Tracy Ellis Ross without having heard her sing yet. We were just so overcome by her talent and her ability, but also huge relief. I come from a legacy of singing. Obviously, Grace Davis is nothing like my mom, but it is a world that I know. I think both Tracy and I struggled with was just trying to, to trust ourselves and breathe and just have fun. The most exciting thing about the potential of doing this movie is showing Grace's career, like, in its entirety. The album covers and the fans and the posters and everything feel true to the story that we're telling. Tracy is really incredible. She is super talented and super smart and super kind and has really transformed into a full-blown icon. I want to go through my closet and donate things that aren't sparking joy or whatever. The wardrobe for Grace Davis has been more than wardrobe. It's been flavor. Strong, elegant, polished, guarded, and expensive. <laughs> when I read the script, I was like, how am I going to create this legend of Grace Davis and make everybody believe she is this huge music icon? It felt like it would be really fun to create this character and create something that made it you know, live in a different world than I'm used to. You need incredible artists who are so good at what they do in every area to bring together to create this one vision. She been waiting to do this for a long time. You're gonna see an insight to the music business, somebody coming in from the bottom and, and fighting their way to make it to the top. Women trying to fit into boxes that are set up for them and get so paralyzed by failure. But I think once you make the switch and realize like those are fictitious, it just all opens up and you just gotta try it and go for it. That's a lesson for all of us from Grace is don't lose your voice and try to always keep track of who you are and what makes you who you are.
Grace, that was so good. Thank you, Maggie. Let's take it from the top. <laughs>